answer, I'm probably with a patient, so I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Text is the best thing. Uh, any text after 10 p.m., unless it's a true emergency, uh, I'll respond to you the next day. Uh, other than that, let's move on. All right, so this class is for everybody on this list. We do have a new financial policy that is fresh out of the scanner and sent to society this morning. So hopefully that will get approved by society. All right, so these are the, the people that are above me. If you have any questions as far as like forms or stuff or anything that you don't want to message me to ask, just go to these two links right here. It's pretty cut and dry on the exchequery side of this. Uh, if it's in black and white, it's legal. If it's not in black and white, it's not legal. And I don't want to know about it. I forgot to update that slide. My bad. Um, like I said before, though, I will try and keep a 48-hour response. I know I kind of failed to do that the last two weeks. I apologize for that. If you have sent me an email and I have not responded, I'm working through my inbox right now. I just powered through 168 hours of my paramedic clinicals in 13 days. So I kind of didn't respond to anybody on anything. Uh, communication is the best thing for all of this. Please remember, if you do not send out a, I need help, then no one knows you need help. And yes, this slide is correct. Last uh, financial policy that we had approved by the board was July of 2018. Uh, we've sent up one before that, before the one that I sent up this morning, and we got no traction on it but hopefully we'll get traction on this one and they will approve it. Uh, if anybody is curious about the new financial policy, I can email it to you. And I will also be getting with the web minister to get the new current one that we have sent to society up on the, the Kingdom website. As always, reports are due the last day of the month following, we report a month behind. It's always interesting to me because the Exchequery Office reports a month behind, Chronicler Office reports a month ahead. So I get very confused on what month I'm actually in. Uh, NMR reports, that is one that we are having difficulty with, with groups. Please, 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 as soon as you get your event done, Send your information to the NMR deputy. Uh, one thing that I really need is I understand that physical mail copies are being mailed. The mail sometimes sucks. Uh, the longest one I've seen so far was a postmark, and when I got it, it was 60 days later. So I don't know what's going on with the post office right now. However, for reporting purposes, if y'all could send how many adults were there and how many non-members were there so that we can do our reporting up to society as far as <clears throat> NMR reporting goes. Uh, currently, we are in end-of-year reporting. So if your group has not turned in your end-of-year reporting to Doomsday, please do so soon. She would really appreciate that. So for all your bank accounts, they need to all say Society of Creative Anachronism and then your branch's name. Uh, there's been questions in the past of for Texas or Oklahoma sales tax ID stuff. The only ID we have is the one that corporate provides. Uh, if you do run into a situation where they don't want that because that's the only thing they have, please direct them towards me. I will happily take care of that. 
Signatories. Everybody has to have current membership for the time frame that you are going to be in your office. Not just, I have a membership. It's going to expire soon. I'll get it updated. Please, please, please uh, make sure that all your signatories for the time that they are going to be your signatory have a membership. Uh, I know that we've been having an issue on the society side of getting bank account request forms back. Uh, if you are having that problem, please message me. Uh, if I haven't seen the, the email, please, again, hit me up on Facebook. I'm fairly easy to find on Facebook. Just send me a message letting me know that you've sent an email and kind of what the email was about. And I should be able to get back to you fairly quickly on that. So I know that it says 90 days on there. However, we do this meeting once every six months. So if you have joined a financial committee, uh, message me, let me know, and we can get you a class taken care of. Again, though, we are also working on getting this done, taken care of through a online form where you can just go to the Kingdom website and you can watch the video and then go from there. I promise on the video I will be more articulate. I, I honestly, I don't like talking in front of large groups. Uh, let's see here. The receipts, that is one of the bigger things. Make sure you have receipts for all your expenses. Uh, we just did an audit with a bunch of different groups for stuff in 2022. And receipts are definitely wanted by the IRS. So please keep copy of your receipts. All right. So if your group decides that they want to do a dedicated fund or a special purpose, i.e. we want to buy a pavilion and we want to set up a, a fund strictly for the pavilion to raise funds for that pavilion, you can do that. That's not a problem. Uh, generally speaking, it says reasonable period of time. I usually try and go with two years. If we've, whatever we've decided to buy, it falls through, we can't get it, we've changed our minds. If the whole group is concise as that we want to change where that money is going to as a branch, then put it in your minutes and do it. Uh, if there was a dedicated fund that nobody knows what it was there for, but it's in your financial report, leave the funds in there. I generally go for two years. However, your group financial committee can decide what a reasonable period of time is for your group. No petty cash. Cannot say that loud enough. Uh, for disbursements, like gate funds and stuff like that, please write a check to someone in the group that is going to go to the bank and cash the check. Please do not go to the bank with two of your signers and just withdraw funds. That does not work. That is not allowed. Please, God, don't do that. Uh, when you are going in here, please write a check to someone in the group. Go cash the check. Put seed money on the check. And then that will work for getting your seed money out for cash. That is the one time that you're going to have cash on hand <clears throat> for an event. Everything else needs to be run by checks. Uh, if anybody is curious on the, the gate sign-in sheets, we will be having a, a forms class later, and we'll go over the gate sheets in detail. As it says, no one... So if you live with someone, doesn't matter if you're married to them or not, if you are in the same household, please do not have 
be on the signatory cards together and do any of that stuff. Uh, one thing I do love that the Herald's office has done is they are through PayPal now. So that makes my life a lot easier. Um, basically, on the uh, cash receipts for any cash that you're going to deposit, it says 14 days. As soon as you can get it deposited, please deposit it. And let your exchequer know that if you if you are not the exchequer and you're depositing funds, please let your exchequer know that you have deposited funds in the account. So we now have the new score system. I honestly recommend it over PayPal. Uh, it's almost a little bit cheaper and also people have the ability to, if they want to donate the fees for the processing. I know for Gulf War, for two of us, it was like $7 for the fees to get all that processed over. So if your group is wanting to do online or electronic reservations and payments, that new score system that society got is actually a fairly decent one. I think personally that it's cheaper than PayPal. So definitely take a look into that for your group and kind of push it a little bit. We're, we're trying to push that one a little bit more, but definitely a good system to use. Uh, PayPal is still there if you would like to use it as well. This one's fairly self explanatory. Uh, if you have stuff that you would like to buy this year or next year, Put it in your budget and then you're good to go from there uh, budgeted items don't need to be really discussed as far as hey i'm if you're the, the minister of arts and sciences and you have a hundred dollar budget for something you just write out a check request form give it to your exchequer and you have those funds if it is a not a budgeted item please go through your financial committee and get it approved that way. Not really sure why donations of vehicles cannot be accepted, but they cannot be accepted. Uh, for the tax, anything that you're trying to buy for tax exempt, please go to the corporate website and download the tax exempt form there. Please make sure that you follow any state or local guidelines for that one. For your kingdom events, make sure that you send up all your stuff to where they need to go to so that we can get the financial committee going on the kingdom side to figure out where we're going for on the event. Uh, I can tell you this now. When you're putting in a kingdom event, please location, 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 and as much information as you can give us about the site. The more information, the less questions we have to ask you later, and which could also hold up whether you get the event or not. So please make sure you give us as much information as possible. All right. On their review of policies, please make sure that every couple of years you're looking through your policies to make sure they are correct. If you don't have a change to it, realistically, put a new date on it. Make sure everybody agrees with it. Put in a new names of everybody that is currently on there and send it back up. Uh, if you'd like to make changes, that's the time to do it. But if you don't have any changes that you want to make, you like the policy, change your names, change the dates send it back up. It's really that simple. It's not, everybody tries to think it's complicated. It's not complicated. Just review what you've got and send it back up. Okay. Uh, so Seneca will be taking over doing book reviews and all that stuff. Uh, please expect 
emails from her as far as when that's going to happen. Uh, da, da, da. When you do your book review, make sure that you have everything accessible uh, for IRS standards, everything within the last seven years. So please have everything ready to go, at least where you know where it's at, and you can quickly locate. Uh, Google Drive is an acceptable location for your stuff. Uh, you do not have to have physical copies of stuff anymore. You can have physical copies. It's just that's a lot of paper to carry around. Um, flash drives, Google Drive, you need to have at least two locations that you're keeping all of your book stuff. I have it on a flash drive and I have it on my Google Drive. So as long as you have it in two different locations, that can't be, you can't lose one or the other. Make sure you have that. 